WFNN. The Wall Street Money Hour with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. Hello, everyone. This is the Wall Street Money Hour. This is uh, Peter Bruno, your host. And uh, today quite a, was quite a bit of a turnaround overnight. And over the weekend, we heard about the uh, war in the Middle East. And the pre-markets were down uh, quite a bit. And suddenly, there's been a turnaround uh, with the Dow up 174 points now, the S&P up 25 points, and the NASDAQ uh, up 56 uh, points. And you can see that the uh, the war stocks, as we mentioned in the previous update, market update, uh, Lockheed uh, Martin uh, are, uh, are up um, anticipating uh, the news that uh, perhaps uh, the United States is going to defend uh, its ally uh, in Israel and uh, get wind up getting into this war or at least supplying them with enough equipment that they need in order to defeat uh, the aggressors. Uh, in any event, uh, the Wall Street Money Letter is the newsletter that uh, we publish every week. Uh, we're waiting for it to be uh, updated online with TFNN. So in the interim, uh, we'll talk about uh, certain things that uh, may be of interest to the, uh, to the listening audience. And here I have the Wall Street Money Letter online. Uh, you should be seeing it on your, on your screen. And uh, therefore, the Wall Street Money Letter gives us weekly market analysis. It gives us issues under consideration. Uh, last uh, Friday, we had our uh, AI algorithm uh, research analyst, Megan Ramsey, on uh, giving us some uh, indicators regarding the uh, three stocks that we have uh, within that. We were trying to sell one of the three stocks, which was uh, visa, and uh, and therefore the way the, the and that's when we would be covering uh, these issues, same issues that we recommend based on uh, issues under consideration or action alerts that we send out based on the Wall Street Money Letter. Now the Wall Street Money Letter may be different from other newsletters in that once a person subscribes to the Wall Street Money Letter, the communication other than the weekly market analysis that we do uh, would be based on action alerts. Uh, and that goes back to the fact that anything that we think we would be should be buying in our own account, uh, we would recommend that you buy in your account. I think that's fair. <laughs> if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. And I remember seeing a, a cartoon, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago, in uh, I think it was the Wall Street uh, Journal. I think they had cartoons. Uh, every day, and one broker was on the line with his client saying, of course I think it's a good stock. I was even thinking of buying it myself. Uh, so the idea is with these action alerts, if we want to buy something, we'll place an order uh, to buy at a specific price stock that we configure to be the best price to buy uh, for that. And then we immediately send out a action alert email uh, to the subscriber, telling them that we bought XYZ stock at that price. Uh, it was completed today when it's completed. Uh, sometimes during the day, we'll place an order uh, in our Wall Street Money Letter trading account to buy at a specific price, but we may never get that price. So if we don't get that price, we didn't buy it, and therefore we won't send out an action alert to the subscribers. But once we've completed that trade, and once the price is executed, then we send out the email to the client subscriber and saying we bought at this price today uh, this particular stock. Now the subscriber, as we mentioned, has three choices. You can pick up your broker, I mean pick up your phone and call your broker. Uh, you may pick up your broker and call your phone if you want. <laughs> or you can ignore the, uh, the information, say I already own that stock on my portfolio, I really don't need any more. Or you can track it which most new subscribers would do to see, let's see how well I would have done if I would have followed 
the Wall Street money letter of advice. Now, re regardless of whether you bought the stock, you're tracking it, or you ignored, ignored it, we're obligated to send you a, a action alert when we sell the stock. In the event that uh, uh, we sell the stock, win, lose, or draw, uh, we would send out the same action alert email uh, to the subscribers. So that, I think, is is only fair. And then we build a track record based on the uh, successful uh, recommendations that, that were made. Now, in addition to that, we have different types of portfolios uh, on the uh, Wall Street Money Letter. And uh, uh, we show you what we do. And then we say suitable various investment styles, exchange-traded funds, trading strategy. Okay, well, we use exchange-traded funds in two ways. Number one, the actual exchange-traded fund, which is really a basket of stocks. So if we had a uh, ETF of the SPY, which is a basket of the uh, 500 stocks in the S&P 500, well, instead of buying each individual stock, you can just buy the basket. And if the basket of, of stocks move up, then the SPY would move up. Uh, if we were negative on the S SPY uh, or the Dow, and I think it's uh, uh, DLG, which is a dog of the Dow, meaning that the 30 stocks of the Dow should be moving, should be moving down. Therefore, the DLG, which is the ETF of that basket of inverse down stocks, should move up. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can use uh, these recommendations that we give, whether it's uh, by long or whether we buy inverse to the ETF. And basically, it's a, it's a strategy of hedging your existing portfolio. So if you have an existing portfolio of long stocks, okay, uh, you're counting on the market moving up. So therefore, at the end of the day, after the market moves up, you made money in your portfolio, or at least the stocks in your portfolio that moved up. Now, not all stocks move up when the market moves up. If you hear market reports that say uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 100 points today, however, uh, there were uh, 600 stocks that were up and 300 stocks that were down. Well, who owns the 300 stocks that are down? The 300 stocks that are down were in in uh, uh, sectors or industries that were negative to the overall market and they would move down while the rest of the market moved up. And that's based on uh, sector analysis, which we, we do we do as well. So a, a good idea to, to have a, a long portfolio is to say, well, I'm long with the market being up uh, right now, uh, uh, 193 points basis of Dow and the 26 points up for the S&P 500 or 53 points for the NASDAQ, you may say to yourself, well, I know at the end of the day, my portfolio is going to be up, but how do I chance it? And how do I hedge that portfolio in the event the market turns around, news tonight, who knows what it's going to be, and if the market's going to open up or down the following day. So you may want to hedge your portfolio, and when we come back to this break, I'll give you as an idea of how we hedge our various portfolios. Be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. 
as a precious metal gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we were talking about the hedging uh, long portfolios that uh, we have, uh, or you may have. And right now, the the ES, or the S&P 500 futures, is at 4370.75, uh, up 29.25 points. Uh, the high today was 4372.50. And so if you are have a portfolio of all long stocks, uh, you may consider to say, well, at the end of the day, right now, I believe we're going to be positive and my portfolio is going to be uh, up 1% uh, or so. So therefore, uh, I may want to hedge my portfolio by adding a negative ETF into my account, the negative ETF goes down when the market goes up and it goes up when the market goes down. So what you want to do is the SQQQ is the symbol for the inverse uh, S&P 500. So therefore, right now, the inverse S&P 500 is at 1907, uh, down uh, around uh, 30 points. So therefore, uh, 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 not, not 30 points, down 30 cents, actually. So therefore, you may want to buy the SQQQ at $19.07 and therefore hedging the portfolio. So what happens at the end of the day, if the market continues to move up, well, all your stocks in your portfolio would move up and you'd be happy about that. But then when you look at the SQQQ, you see that the SQQQ is down from your purchase price. And therefore, the, the, the small amount that is down doesn't equate to the large amount that your portfolio is up. Now, in the event tomorrow, tonight, bad news, tomorrow the market goes down, uh, you're going to have your portfolio of stocks going down, and then you're going to have the SQQQ uh, going up. Okay, so that's basically how to hedge your portfolio. There's, there's you know, no, no big deal about hedging your portfolio. Because, uh, you know, you have the majority of going up uh, when the market is going up, and then you have the minimum going down when the market is moving down. At least you have that, you know, you have that opportunity. Okay, now you have the, uh, uh, 
within, within the Wall Street Money Letter, we, we mentioned the ETFs and we'll recommend those things as a hedge uh, for the portfolio. Uh, we have uh, index future trading, which we just talked about, the low price stocks. Uh, we have options trading strategy. And then there's one more that we have that falls into the uh, short-term stock trading, and that's what we call dividend capture. And dividend capture, frankly, is my favorite way of of, uh, of making money because I consider it you know, re really free money. And uh, I consider it free money because it's a way of cap capturing the dividend and, uh, and and getting and getting it for free. Uh, let me see if I can get my uh, uh, my uh, chart up here. Uh, okay, you can see I'm new to this, <laughs> and uh, I'm looking for. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to try to swing it, swing it to the uh, uh, where the the and then can see it. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'm still trying to do that, but I can tell you that uh, the, the uh, here we go. Okay, here's the uh, stocks that we're monitoring, and we're monitoring these stocks to identify uh, which stocks we uh, would be recommending as action alerts. And as we go through uh, these charts, you can see the S&P 500 that's up in there is basically, we call this the Bruno Oscillator. When the Bruno Oscillator uh, gets to the resistance area, which was up here, then we expect the market to move down, which it did right here. And then after it hits the support level, we expect the market to move up again to resistance level, which is right here. And then after we sell here, we expect the market to move down. And it looks like it's down here is the uh, resistance level. And from, from that resistance level, we seem to have started to move up with the S&P 500. And if it continues to move up, it'll move up back up to 4,500. Uh, it takes about 18 or 19 days to go from support to resistance. So if, if there's no uh, aberration within the market, uh, even though we say that three steps up and two steps down, it could also correct. Uh, however, the trend should continue to be up. Uh, here we have uh, uh, Apple Computer uh, seems to be doing well. It's up a dollar seven today to one seventy eight fifty six. And you can see it's getting close to the resistance level of around one eighty. And these are areas rather than specific numbers. And you can see how how it, it, it did here, you know. Here it uh, it was support at this level here, 196. Support, I mean resistance was 196. It broke down to support of 172. Went back up to 190, and now it went down to 168. And now it seems to be moving back up, and resistance now would be 180. So. If you own Apple, I wouldn't hold on to it much longer because if it goes up to 180, uh, it's, it should be sold because it should be moving back down. Okay, Netflix is uh, another uh, thing we're monitoring. And you can see it seems to be bouncing from the support area. Uh, Amazon, which was in our portfolio, uh, is holding its own. Therefore, you can see from the chart, uh, chart works well, the oscillator, oscillator. Uh, works very well with identifying resistance, coming down to support, back up to resistance, down to support. Uh, the uh, the uh, positive QQQs are our support level. That's not not the uh, the uh, uh, that seems to be moving moving up there. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is uh, at support and moving up. Uh, Adobe is another stock we're looking at. Now, we, that doesn't mean we're going to be buying these stocks. What it means is that we're going to configure the algorithms and the uh, AI based on these stocks and trying to identify a low point that we want to buy the stock. Here's a stock that's under consideration that we're uh, ready to send out an action alert. 
and the action alert for Lowe's. Now let's just look at the uh, Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot. This is, uh, I'm sorry. That, this Home Depot looks pretty much the same as Lowe's. And let's go back to Lowe's. Now Home Depot. If we did make send an action alert on Home Depot, that would be uh, buy long uh, for the stock to move back up. However, if we were going to do an action alert on Lowe's, uh, Lowe's is a little different story. Lowe's is a, a dividend capture stock. That means that Lowe's will be paying a dividend uh, shortly. I think it's the, the 11th. And, uh, and we're trying to buy it at a, at a lower price. The dividend for Lowe's is $1.10. So we'll be right back and explain more about that. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average is now up 197.44 points. The S&P 500 is up 29.26 and NASDAQ is up 65 uh, points even. And before the break, we were talking about a, a unique strategy called dividend capture. And dividend capture is something I call free money. And here's the reason why. We were showing charts and comparison between Lowe's, Lowe's, L-O-W symbol, and Home Depot, H-D. I think I remember it on 
on a previous program, I had mentioned a client of mine uh, from Chicago used to rent uh, uh, space in their retail space that they had. He had many retail spaces. And he said, we were talking about the difference between Lowe's and the Home Depot. He said, Peter, Lowe's would only open a store if it's within distance of Home Depot. Uh, well, that's so true, because no matter if I go uh, to Orlando, if I go to Boca or wherever I'm going, if I look at a Home Depot, within blocks would be the Lowe's store. So they're really, that's their strategy of competing against Home Depot. Now, we mentioned that Lowe's would be a dividend capture stock for us. And the reason for that is that it's going to be paying $1.10 uh, in dividend uh, this uh, this uh, quarter. And the dividend, ex-dividend date is 1024. Uh, so 1024 is uh, uh, 14 days from now. And therefore, the way dividend capture works is you need to own the stock prior to the ex-dividend date. So anyone that owns the stock prior to 1024 would receive a dollar 10 in their portfolio uh, uh, about a week later uh, when the when the dividend is paid to all subscribers. Uh, ex-dividend means that on the ex-dividend date, which would be 1024, if you try to buy the stock on 1024, that says you're buying it without the dividend. So what happens is on the 23rd close, okay, whatever Lowe's closes at on the 23rd, the following morning it opens minus a dollar ten. Not that it went down a dollar ten, but it just means that the dollar ten is reduced from the closing price the day before. Because that dollar ten is going to be sent to subscribers, uh, to uh, dividend holders, <laughs> and subscribers as well. If we were able to buy Lowe's at the price we want to buy that, now right now Lowe's is at uh, two hundred dollars a share, two hundred dollars and twenty cents. Uh, the low today was one ninety six forty six. Okay, we're trying to buy Lowe's at one ninety seven. So therefore. Uh, if we would have placed the order and we didn't, or if we would have sent the action alert and we didn't uh, last night or this morning, and if we sent our action alert in our trading account, we're trying to buy at 197 or lower, we would have bought the stock at 196.46 or somewhere around there be below the 197 area, but we didn't. So therefore, right now, Lowe's is up 66 cents. And between now and 1024, there's an opportunity, perhaps, for lows to move down, especially if the market corrects or if the market moves down uh, uh, to that area. We'll be able to buy our stock at 197. And if we buy the stock at 197, we expect support to be at the $200 level, 197, 198 level. And therefore, this is another opportunity, not only for dividend capture, and let's just follow dividend capture instead of the put option strategy where we can sell a put uh, sometime in the future at 198, 199, and receive the premium uh, if we're correct and our cycles move up from the low point where it is at this point at uh, $200 a share. Okay, so on a dividend capture, we're trying to buy the stock at 197. If we bought the stock at 197, and the stock moves up, then we know that we can hold on to that stock. And when it reaches uh, 1024, uh, if, we, if the cycles are still in our favor, we continue to hold the stock and subscribers and holders of Lowe's would receive a $1.10 uh, in about a week after the ex-dividend date. Now, right now, the, the resistance on Lowe's uh, based on our analysis, is around uh, $217. So if we're correct and the market moves up from 200 to, say, 210, 212, 215, 
Uh, we don't have to wait till it gets to 217 because remember we say this is an area, not a specific number. Why are we holding on to that stock for dollar ten when we just made ten points in owning the stock? So forget about the dividend. We would sell the stock, take our profit, and move on, and forget about holding it for the dividend because who knows? By the time it gets up to 1024, the cycles may have changed from being oversold as support to overbought as resistance. And we see in the chart uh, on the screen to the right that resistance means that the stock is going to move down after resistance. Okay, so now we have other options that we could wait for uh, uh, us to buy the stock if it goes down to 197. Uh, however, uh, we can also sell a put on lows. Selling a put means that you sell at this price at 200. Uh, and if the stock, say you sell it at 200, let's say they're going to give us $4 a put per put. So it's uh, one put, you get $400. 10 puts, you sell it at $4,000. We keep on warning uh, subscribers and listeners that in order to sell a put, you have to have enough money in the account in the event it doesn't go up and you're assigned the stock by the person that uh, bought the put option that was sold and therefore you have to have enough money in your account to cover uh, the, the put option that was sold in the event you get assigned. Uh, I guess that, that could happen 10% of the time based on uh, my calculations of the way we've been doing that. Now, Home Depot, we mentioned, was another stock that is on our list. However, Home Depot doesn't go ex-dividend until November sometime. And ex-dividend, the dividend on Home Depot is $2.09. Okay, but because it's not an ex-dividend stock, what we'd have to do with Home Depot is just go out to buy the stock, uh, not buying the stock because of the dividend. Now, Home Depot is at currently $294.54, up $1.62. Based on our algorithmic trading and based on our AI, we, we want to buy the stock at $290 a share. So. When you're dealing with higher priced stocks like Home Depot, uh, it's up 162. It can easily go down to uh, 190. This morning, it was down to 289.68. So basically, if we would have placed the order earlier, we would have been able to buy the stock. skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is Wall Street Manager, your host, Peter Bruno. And uh, before the break, we were talking about uh, various strategies of dividend capture, in addition to dividend capture, which we're trying to do for Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot becomes a stock that we'd want to buy. We'd want to buy Home Depot if it got down to 290. And we want to buy Lowe's if it got down to uh, 197. Or lower. Now, the stocks that we've mentioned within our portfolio are somewhat high price stocks. Uh, basically, with the uh, no commission uh, basis of many brokerage firms today, uh, it's not necessary for you to buy 100 shares of stock uh, or 1,000 shares of stock. You can buy one share of stock in your portfolio, 10 shares of stock in your portfolio if you don't have enough money. But I like buying these higher price stocks because you get the the swing out of these stocks that we're looking for in order to uh, day, day trade them uh, into profitable uh, positions. However, you don't have to buy 100 shares of the stocks that we talk about. You can buy uh, as many shares as you like, depending on the amount of money you have in your portfolio. Now, there's a new thing that has come up, uh, which are called uh, uh, leverage single stock ETFs. They're ETFs of one stock, and they're leveraged. That means that instead of buying, here an example on our screen, uh, we show Tesla, and Tesla is not a stock that we're uh, considering, but right now Tesla is down $3, $3 okay? and it seems to be midway between uh, our support and resistance and our oscillator oscillator. The fact is that uh, if you were crazy about Tesla and you wanted to buy Tesla stock because you believe in uh, Elon, uh, then you could buy Tesla stock. But instead of buying 10 shares of, at $257 a share, you can buy a single stock ETF of Tesla and it would only cost you $16.10. Look at, look at the, look at the, the, the chart between TSLL and look at the chart between TSLA. It looks the same. Okay, so if, if Tesla stock is going to move up to $18 a share, let's say, uh, you're moving up from $16 to $18 as opposed to buying Tesla stock at $257.50, having it to go up to $275. So there are uh, a group of single stock ETFs, they're getting pretty popular. Uh, they are leveraged, so it is uh, risky. But the fact is that right now, uh, based on uh, pre-market research, uh, in addition to Tesla, you have NVIDIA, which is a single stock index. You have PayPal, PYPL. You have Nike and KE. And you also have uh, Pfizer, uh, PFE. Okay, And if you happen to like any of those stocks, and rather than uh, use the money that you have uh, to buy the actual stock itself, uh, you can buy these leveraged ETFs based on our cycle analysis. And our cycle analysis works just as well with the single stock ETFs as they do with the individual stock ETFs. 
So going through this uh, this chart now, as we did before, we see the Dow seems to be moving up. Adobe seems to be moving up from support. Uh, Target still waiting for it to uh, settle. Uh, Microsoft uh, certainly moving up from its support level. Uh, American Tower, uh, we were thinking of buying using that for a dividend capture today because on American Tower, uh, the dividend is, is in about 10 days. However, today the market moved up $2.88. So therefore, too late for us to buy that as a, as a dividend capture. Uh, Visa is at uh, 234.55. Uh, when Megan was on the program last Friday, we talked about uh, looking to sell uh, Visa at a certain point, which was in our portfolio. And I'm not sure what that price is right now, but uh, if Visa continues to move up, we certainly get a chance to execute that trade. Okay, Best Buy is another stock that has support, and we're watching carefully. Uh, and Dollar General is another stock that has support that we're watching carefully. So what we do on our research uh, overnight is go through our various uh, patterns and looking for opportunities of buying uh, any uh, stocks that have an opportunity of moving from the support level to resistance level. And once we identify a list of these stocks, then Megan does an analysis based on her algorithmic trading and her uh, AI and trying to identify the best prices that we can uh, buy these stocks at. As I mentioned, the you know, uh, 197 uh, that we talked about for lows, uh, looking at low stock today, uh, the low today was 196.46. Uh, I don't know how long uh, the market was trading at the opening before it got down to uh, 196.46, but if we were uh, paying attention, we probably would have uh, sent out an action alert uh, to our subscribers saying to buy the stock under 197, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, Home Depot, we want to buy that stock at uh, 290, and right now it's 295.18. But guess what? The low today was 289.68. So if we were sending out an action alert first thing in the morning, uh, certainly we would have uh, bought that stock. And once TFNN uh, is able to post our Wall Street Money Letter up on their website, once listeners are able to subscribe, uh, we update the weekly market analysis uh, every Monday prior to the opening. And I'm pretty sure uh, betting you a dollar to a box of donuts that we would have had uh, buy signals for Home Depot and Lowe's in today's uh, update uh, weekly market analysis. But unfortunately, uh, they're close to getting our Wall Street Money Letter up on their website. And I guess we have to wait for the next opportunity of sending out A, a weekly market analysis, and B, an action alert based on the opportunity of the listeners deciding to take advantage of our 30-day uh, risk-free trial. Uh, and if that's the case, then you'll be getting our action alerts and you'll be uh, getting a weekly market analysis and update uh, based on our uh, cycle analysis. Okay, so that's where uh, that's where we are as far as the um, uh, here uh, lows. Uh, the way I, I received uh, information about lows is we looked up here under uh, dividend uh, com and lows suggested that uh, uh, it's been paying a dollar ten, it's been paying a dollar ten. It's been paying a dollar ten basically every quarter. Okay, so there's no uh, no thinking that it's not going to be paying a uh, dollar ten. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so these are the uh, strategies that we could use uh, for our subscribers, and uh, stay tuned. So we'll be right back after the break for our last segment.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And prior to the break, we were talking about the uh, single stock ETFs and I failed to mention that in addition to the buy side of these stocks, they also have uh, inverse ETFs. For example, Tesla, which was TSLA, uh, and, and TTL, uh, TSLL for the long Tesla stock, they have TSLQ, which is an inverse. Uh, so if you think Tesla is going down, you can buy the inverse Tesla of TSLQ and if Tesla stock goes down, uh, that stock would move up. And the same with the other stocks I mentioned. I suggest that you uh, investigate yourself by going into Google for uh, single stock ETFs so you can see uh, the type of, of companies that have single stocks ETFs, including one of the advertisers on TFNN, which is Direction Shares. Uh, they have their, their own single stock ETFs as well. Now, although I'm doing the radio program, every once in a while I'll have a guest on, like uh, my granddaughter Megan, who was on Friday, and my daughter, Ellen, Ellen Ramsey, uh, would be guesting some time to join us, uh, just to say hello and to talk a little bit. Uh, I'm the host, so therefore you have my information here about meet the members of the Wall Street Money Letter. However, this is Megan, 
and Megan, we have her uh, information about her background. And I mentioned earlier uh, yesterday that she uh, uh, graduated three years uh, of her college uh, masters in two years, and now she's taking her her uh, clinical psychology into advanced studies, and uh, she wants to be a clinical psychology therapist, and uh, that's great. And although uh, I, I don't want her to follow my footsteps, I just want to make sure that she knows how to manage her money when she makes a lot of money. I see that this is the end of our program, so thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing